Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hatchets here, and today we have a lot to discuss about Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Zombie Storyline, as well as Intel. So we're going to begin with the possibility of Eddie Richtofen returning in a future DLC. We know we're getting the case on military map, which is in Vietnam around mid-February for DLC 1, but basically we have new intel from Nuketown Onslaught within Season 1 that is hinting towards an Eddie Richtofen return. So we're going to begin with this piece of intel that says punks ain't pacifists, Nuketown 84, Eddie's hippie neighbors finally gave up being vegetarians. So there's a lot of supplemental intel that is basically explaining this storyline and I'm going to read a little bit of it for you guys. So we're going to pick out the key parts here and I mention this because when your neighbor is Area 51, good fences make good neighbors, takes on unique significance. I've seen black helicopters and lights in the sky, I've heard an eerie almost subsonic late night hum and felt it rattle my bones, I can only guess what terrible experiments are carried out in secret there. That's why I made Nuketown rule number one, no trespassing in or contact with Area 51 ever. As I write this, my community is shattered. My brothers and sisters are literally tearing each other apart. So there's actually a Nuketown outbreak, a zombies outbreak. And what this is basically referencing is that Eddie Richtofen was at this Nuketown outbreak as either part of the US government or maybe just a neighbor that lived within Nuketown. I'm not really sure, guys. This is completely up to your interpretation and what is happening here is that his neighbors are basically becoming zombified they've been infected by a zombie through the outbreak and now their family members are watching them tear each other apart we actually also have an audio file that supplements this and another piece of intel so this is actually from the gaming revolution huge shout out to him but we're going to read the key parts in this next supplemental piece of intel here so they threw a barbecue today which is funny because they're vegetarians i was playing my guitar on the other side of the house when it happened it it was a weird, I don't know what it was. Looked like the air ripping open. Anyone close went glassy eyed and just attacked like actual murder. Here's the thing. These commune losers are pacifists. Like yeah, f the government and f war merchants and all that. But if you go for my throat, I'm not answering with a hug. So the only one fighting back. All I had was my guitar, but if you ever saw one wreck an amplifier, you know why they call it an axe. I caved in some skulls, which is not as fun as it sounds. Long story short, whatever they caught is contagious. So once again, this is explaining the huge outbreak that has happened at the Nuketown site. And we actually have an audio file for this as well. So I will play that for you guys. And basically the whole premise around this is that Eddie's neighbors, whether it be Richtofen or someone else, are experience a whole zombie outbreak at the Nuketown site. The reason I'm here is because my bad mate stumped me in the desert when I puked in the bad. Fuckers can't take a joke! Anyhow, these hippies at the Nuketown Collective saved me from dying of thirst and gave me a place to crash. So I guess I owe them something. For sure, they didn't deserve to go up like they did. They threw a barbecue today, which is funny. Cause the vegetarians. I was playing my guitar on the other side of the house when it happened. It was... I don't know what it was. Looked like the air ripping open. Anyone close went glassy eyed and just attacked. Like actual murder. Here's the thing. These call me losers are pacifists. Like ya. Yeah. Fuck the government and fuck the war merchants and all. But if you go for my throat, I'm not answering with a hug. So I was the only one fighting back. All I had was my guitar. But if you ever saw one wreck an amplifier, you know why they call it an axe. I caved him some skulls! Which is not as fun as it sounds. Long story short, Whatever they caught is contagious. Too many fucked up murder hippies to deal with. So I ran back to my room. I hear them outside. But they didn't know where I hid. Only other person who didn't catch it is Daze China. Not using her dumbass hippie name. I see China's window. From mine. She saw me on tape to note. Keith! Soldiers coming! Run away! Fuck that! I'm staying put! I'm letting the experts handle this. Might write a song while I wait. If I can get my poor guitar back. 
attacking tool. So we also have one last piece of intel here. And what we have here is basically another description of the outbreak. I watched through my window as they attack the others like coyotes on a jackrabbit. I'm not even going to try to process my emotions yet. Survival comes first. I don't know if it was radiation, germ warfare, or some sort of chemical weapon, but I have no doubt of the source. We kept our distance, but Area 51's bad science came to us. We have no phone lines out here, so I called for help on my HAM radio. I have a friend in Indian Springs who I chat with sometimes. She responded, but a wave of static drowned her out. A very stern military sounding voice cut in. Stay put. We are aware of the situation. Help is on the way. That was it. No answers to my questions. Just stay put. We are on the way. So multiple pieces of these intel actually describe the dark ether portals that open up, especially on Demachina and Nuketown Onslaught. This is like the orb that you guys follow around there. So they're definitely describing a dark ether portal moving within the Nuketown area, wherever they're living. And then it just causes a huge zombies outbreak and everyone starts eating each other. Pretty scary stuff. But now guys, we're actually going to move on to how to unlock the season one mid season weapons early. And what you have to do is go into war zone to complete these challenges. Now, this is an early release type of thing. I'm not sure if it's still on, so don't hold it to me guys. But just because there's a possibility that it might still be going on, we don't really even know if Treyarch even planned this. But basically, if you guys want to do these challenges to unlock these weapons, I'm not guaranteeing anything that it'll still work. Maybe it was a closed short window period of time because Treyarch never made official announcement for this. Or maybe it was simply just a glitch. But to unlock the Street Sweeper shotgun. But guys, actually, before we talk about how to unlock these weapons, I do recommend that you go into Plunder within Warzone because you do have to do these challenges within Warzone. And Plunder allows you to respawn, making it easier. So for the Street Sweeper shotgun, you want to get a three kill streak with Cold War shotguns, such as the Gallo and the Hauer in 15 different matches. For the Sled Hammer mid-season DLC weapon, you have to get a double kill with the Cold War Combat Knife in 15 different matches. I recommend that you guys actually use the original Modern Warfare knife, the melee knife, because if we remember, they fully integrated and you can use Modern Warfare weapons within Warzone. And then for the Wakuzi or whatever you guys want to call it, Wakashi, I'm not even really sure, but basically that's the Katana Blade. You want to perform two executions with the Cold War Combat Knife in one game in 10 different matches. So you have to get Get two executions in 10 different matches with this knife. And those challenges are pretty easy, guys. And for the last topic of this video, we're actually going to discuss the quote unquote leaked gameplay that has been released for DLC 1. So basically, some leaker on Twitter posted some gameplay from quote unquote DLC 1 of Cold War Zombies. I wanted to inform you guys that this is absolutely fake. I'll show you guys the images and the videos. If you guys look inside one of the images, actually, there's a QR code for the Rickroll. So that's pretty funny. If you guys don't know what the Rickroll is. It's basically a trolling meme type of video with a old music video. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.